I want to really emphasize that there is need. In America, there is nobody who is as special as a person who has defended their country, Mr. Speaker. And you come back, you find the families are protected, their children, and they are remembered. And even there's a holiday in the month of May where they celebrate them in Thanksgiving and you find the country remembering their heroes. For us, after we are done, we have buried our CDF. After that, that is the end of Africa. We never remember anyone. We don't even remember the family. Nobody will remember Aileen. Maybe only the ladies who grew up within and were, were, were families when she was getting married within the same. And so it is time we have to change our attitude. The same way we are here, Madam Speaker, let us change our attitude and respect every leader, be it the former president, be who, let us respect them. Let us give that honor. And especially when a soldier has fallen in war, it is even worse. That is when we must respect completely and remember that family. So, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, sorry, Mr. Speaker, um, how I pray. You know, yesterday when I was eulogizing CDF Ogola, and for some of us who got, we had an opportunity to really have the side of a CDF and the side of a normal person. I mean, I said yesterday, how I wish we can understand that indeed there's something that happened that has never happened in our country. And you know, we are taking it for granted. And nobody even remembered at that time in Nigeria, two years ago, we had fallen soldiers where they also, in the same type, in the northern side of Nigeria, they had the same tragedy when they lost all their soldiers. Same time, same month, same. It's only that two years and this is here. And so for me, I want to say, Mr. Speaker, as I support this motion, I am hoping we shall see those priority lines, that we shall have a policy, and also look where they are. Today we are having disaster. If they are the best people in the army, are those who are retired, we should be looking for them to come and support us in many of the things that we are facing. And so, Mr. Speaker, we don't need to just retire them, but we need to bring them back and use their expertise, give them